Thanks for joining us this week on the Circus and Side Chat. We live in a circus daily, it's called Society. The Circus and Side Chat with Stitches and Tara reacts to the clowns on and offline. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on all our social media so you'll never miss a show. If you would simply share our link to the live stream, that would help us out greatly. If you like this show, you would appreciate it if you would give us a thumbs up. Thanks for your continued support. We would like to thank all of our mods for keeping the chat clean. And now with your hosts Stitches and Tara. Disclaimer. Brock and Dateline are the generals of the side chat. If you make them mad, sorry about your luck. Cancel, cancel the house. Go cry and go pout. You do it for clout. Professional clown. I'll give you the crown. Bitch, your clown. Sit the fuck down. Here is cancel. the receipt. Show me. So, wait, is Tara saying the No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't spin it. Show the receipt. That's all you got to do. You claimed it? I mean, now You were outraged out loud when all that was going on. I don't want that to be your defensive sword now. Uh, I. You're not on the circus, bitch. You're I don't have to be on the circus. You are the circus, clown. What's your problem? I think you need to grow up. You make me sick, Corona. I must star supernova. I'm hot like Arizona. Your boyfriend calls me Rosa. Well, 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 well. Well, how are we doing today, Miss Tara? Hello, darling. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the circus. Can you hear me good? Oh, yeah. I'm coming you, in. you sound fine. You sound fine. What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. What's up, Bama? Carney? What's up, Steve Billings? Icky, you being nice down there. What's up, Jamie, honey? Misty, heaven sent. Who I was in here earlier? I'm just now getting my chat up. We got Jazzy some... Sa, darling. Steve Billings, uh, Carney, Monchichi, <laughs> Miss Miss Amy, how are you doing? Uh, I think I saw EJ rolling in here. There's Big Dog. Big Dog, Faux Popper. Uh, Can't be. A vile. I think there's a new troll on the avenue I've never seen before, Butt Chin. Have, is that, that's a new troll? I don't think I've ever seen that one. Hmm. There is an echo. Do I, say, I sound like I'm in a well. Uh, yeah, it's an echo. I wonder if I should get my headset. Probably. <laughs> okay. Hold on, let me grab the headset. Oh, yeah, we'll try yeah. that. Sometimes Steve, we... Keep, keep, we're trying a new um, streaming app. Uh, so, you know, keep entertaining the peoples. I'll be right back. Right. So, Heaven Sent, Taylor, Jasmine Starr, how are y'all? Brandy J. Betty, Ruthless Rosie, echoing her a little, more like a lot. Okay. Yeah, well, you know. It's all work in progress. It's a work in... So, the streaming app that we're using is called Melon, and it is actually designed for Streamlabs, which is OBS. So her audio is better, but we've never used it till just now. We don't, we don't, it's, you know, look, it ain't scripted over here. It's, uh, <laughs> we just, uh, on the fly kind of. It really isn't scripted. That's for damn sure. Why? All right, tell me how this works. Echoing. All right, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Did that fix the echo? Ah, man down. Well, what the hell, Mike? What do you want me to do? <laughs> All right, well, you tell me. What's up, Sean? You tell me if you want me to take my headset out. What's up, Ruthless Rosie, Phil? Who's all coming in here? Kimmy K. How are you guys doing this week? This is really a video, yeah. Am I still echoing? 
I can lick my own chin. Now that's talent. Yeah, that that would definitely be a long tongue. Let's see. Can someone explain why YouTube is this way? Why not have a real troll in real life? What are you talking about, Icky? I ain't even drinking or drunk. Just started having a little glass of wine. All right, calm down with that. Okay, so let's see. What's up, Jerry A? What's up, World at War? We'll get we'll get into the everything's all all our technical difficulties are fixed. What's up, Punky? I mean, we can't do the whole stream with an echo, right? What's up, Ro? Oh, you better not be telling me to calm down. Now you can. Now you can tell me to calm down. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> so that you guys can only hear me, huh? <laughs> What's up, Cactus? <laughs> What's up, Brandy? All right, calm. Okay, well, come back to the mic and we'll switch. Okay, you're back. The great and wonderful Oz is back there behind the curtain ahead of me. Let me try to switch apps. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, this echo and this echo. Look, that's true. That that app is supposed to be made for uh, OBS, and it it's got better. I, her audio to me is better, but I don't know what the deal is with the echo. That's what happens when you don't um when you don't test nothing. You just fly by the seat of your pants. But that's the way I work best, flying by the seat of my pants. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Are we back in business? Oh, my God, no. Let me unplug my headset. Did that fix it? Is that better? Yes. Oh. oh. No. It's still echoing. Unreal. I don't know why it's echoing. I have no idea why why it's echoing. Is there things I need to check? Let me check my boxes. My settings. Uh, Echo cancellation is on. This is why we got to get together to work on things earlier. Hey, did that fix it? No. I have no idea what it should show. All right. Talk. Hello, darling. Talk. No! Now try. All right. Well, all right. Okay, that it stopped. Damn thing. You know what the problem is? <laughs> You're the master behind the curtain. Yeah. I, I don't got, even have YouTube up, Cactus. I only have stream yours. But YouTube's it's, on my laptop. It's, it's gone. It's gone. So now you can get back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for working hard for the show. Because <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. know what it, why I was doing that. All right. Well, yeah. she said maybe it would help if she wasn't actually watching Little House on the Prairie reruns. Let's see if I can do this. Can I drop that down? Can you still hear me if I do that? I can hear you. Okay. All right. Good deal. Right. Yeah, Steve. I got too many buttons to play with over here. <laughs> yes. Let's get ready to rumble, Carney. How about that? What you guys been all up to? So... Uh, my daughter's back home, so I've had a busy week myself. Uh, well, a lot of that real life stuff going on. I got been gearing up, got surgery on Tuesday, so we've been trying to also, you know, clean the house like before I don't have the strength to do it for a few days, you know. MJ says when he gets to 50 subs, he's gonna get monetized. Oh, how are you gonna do that, MJ? <laughs> What's the game plan? Teach us your secret, the well, wise one. Look, I have found out one thing about uh, this YouTube game. All these people out here that's doing videos telling you how to make your channel better, how to do this and how to do that, 
the things they're telling you to do, they're not doing themselves. So go figure it out. Well, look, I saw that Ryan Upchurch clipped your shit and put you on his Instagram. Well, like 8,000 people saw it. And I'm trying to figure out how he even saw you. You don't even have 100 subs on that channel. Um, I know I got 85 subs now, but, oh, but the reason still, how the, I was like, I guess maybe the way you worded it, or maybe he just fought, has always followed you. Hell, I don't know. Well, I mean, he has, he's, he subscribed to me a long time ago on the other channel, but this is people like him. They have, they either they themselves or they have somebody that searches for content on him. You know what I'm saying? So, right. so uh, if you if you tag your video right, when they search for it, they'll find it. Yes, we do, Misty. Um, isn't isn't our TikTok in that link? Did you post our little link with? Because see, none of you guys called into the to the circus troll line. Come on, I was I'm disappointed. That's right, Dimples. Uh, Dead channel dimples. That's what dead channels like. They get a hundred people. If you if you got a if you got a channel that's all the way up, you only get like twenty subs. I mean, or twenty. Yeah, viewers. look, so I went into Savages the other day. She had seven hundred people. Right, she's got a. That's a dead channel. It's got too many people. I in was it. like, what's happening over here? So <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm proud of her. Though. I'm proud of them because yeah. you know it's her channel, but they're a team over there. Right. You know. Yeah, they they do a fine job. They don't have audio yeah. problems like us. See, we still haven't got to that <laughs> schedule up to that part. Oh, I don't know. Did you not see Val's upload where she's making fun of herself how they're right. running late and stuff too? So I don't know. I think so. The algorithm picks up on it and sometimes stitches, yeah. Successful wood turners on here don't turn wood. Just epoxy horse shit that will be yellow and cracked in seven years. Yeah, you do some nice work, Munchie Chi. Well, sure. not only did I have one artist comment on my video and share me to their Instagram reel, I had another artist comment on another one of my videos. So oh, yeah? Who was that? Caitlin Curtis, the one that sings who the... Was that? The girl that sings the God We Need You Now song with Struggle Jennings. Oh, yeah. So. Well, that's cool. You must have really figured out somehow to do something to get yourself in the algorithm. Well, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of yeah. because the channel is new, brand new. Right? Yeah. It just I I upload I made the channel last Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Monday after. Um, I was told, you know, on YouTube you that I can't do anything by yourself. Right, that I can't do it by mm -hmm. myself. Right, right. Well, I guess you, uh, you'll figure out how to show them. Right. <laughs> you know oh, what I'm saying? Right, right. YouTube's been, YouTube's been, um, there's been a lot of stuff going on, but it's just been little firecrackers. Uh, there hasn't really been any big explosions. Um, this What's going week on, on YouTube. What's going on, Phil? I was just saying. Uh, to Phil yeah. and Jamie Hicks and A Rod and Heaven Sent and Rolo's mate and Mike Vincent. So, and they said he just wants to be a part of an algorithm. algorithm. I'm sure you're on somebody's <laughs> algorithm somewhere, MJ. You're probably on the on the on the list. So yeah, YouTube's been kind of uh Ooh, stitches. Hold on. I don't think I have my wrench in here. Who? Let me type something because I just tried. I don't think I have my wrench because I just tried to use it. Well, I mean, you ain't acting right. I had to take your wrench. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. Oh, you know why? I don't have a wrench in here. I was trying to use it. There, you know, I just typed in the chat. You know why? Because. Why? Um, <laughs> and they look and the damn trolls MJ done deleted your message. <laughs> These motherfuckers. <laughs> it's fine. You should be fine <laughs> Because anyway, you, why why bec has my wrench been had my wrench been taken pop this morning? Well, because you were a manager, right? Right. And, 
And when I moved and, the channel off of Stitches Malone to its own Circus Media Productions uh, account, I had right. to I had to take your man, uh, manager away. And now when it gets, I had to wait seven days. And once I move the channel, then you'll be an owner. So we'll both be a owner. Um, I see. Yeah, I just may. I don't really need to type in there. I more so was. Uh, Wanting to just take out the spamming the same stupid shit over and over. And yeah, over. well, just you're to... well, you got you're good now. You're good now, MJ. Yeah. Right. So MJ. So now I'm gonna get you to that later, MJ. <laughs> yeah, because she, you know, MJ, she's a managing moderator right now. So um, <laughs> you got see my Chi Chi. They kick my ass around too, and it's my damn channel. That's some <laughs> fucked up shit. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know. So, um, yeah, MJ says, uh, I mean, Icky says, uh, F the mods. Okay. Finally, Brock steps up. You better watch out, Icky. So what I was saying earlier is that if I miss anything, you guys, I've been, my, like I said, my daughter came home and I've been getting ready for my surgery. So I've, I haven't watched a single stream from start to finish, but I've called a lot of moments so if we miss anything or y'all want to talk about anything you know remind me in the side chat but the first of the week some of the things that i saw like it hasn't really been any big aha moments this week but just been like i said earlier like some little firecrackers like a witty put up yeah fuck nelly i'll talk about it and give him some attention he you know we got to feed the hungry kindness so we'll get you your baba in a moment nelly but Nags, um, apparently we're hiring a uh, hitman around here because apparently Nags has been trying to get somebody to take Miss Fucking Wonderful out. Did you see that? Hey, Brandy J, actually you and Tara are from the same place. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I moved from Atlanta to where I'm at now, Brandy. That's what show, honey. That's right. She in the deep south. So, what was the most interesting uh, little bit of drama that you had seen the, this week? Well, for me personally, um, well, I don't know. Uh, let me think. Because I think Dougie uh, having a stroke and watching Katie, <laughs> like, not even check on him uh so like katie's doing a whole scene and making doug her content over there after he had a fucking stroke and his mom was worried about him and trying to get katie to go check on him and she wouldn't do it and so then his mom i think his mom was in florida What's up, Bacon? What's up, Bacon? I think his mom's in Florida. And I think his, his mom did a wellness check. Y'all can catch me, correct me if I'm wrong. But his mom did uh, end up doing a wellness check. And he was laying on the floor, had a stroke. And I think if I got it right, he had been laying there like 12 hours. So he's alive. But now he's got to recover. And now Katie's over there on the phone talking shit to this motherfucker while she's on live stream, calling his mama a bitch, talking about why she ain't going to come over there. I really think she's one of the worst people on the fucking planet. Right. Well, I mean, there's a couple in her same company, but yeah, that's why I don't pay attention to her and never really have. So if I hear something about her, it's usually on another channel. She's trash. So you see, <laughs> did, so did Mr. T get porn bombed by um, Marilyn Manson? Is that what I'm recollecting? I don't know what you're about well, it. There, I mean, was a, there was that and there was something else you were going to tell me about and i said wait and tell me so i'll get a natural reaction i already forgot what it was do you remember what it was uh no okay well anyway maybe it'll come to one of us right, <laughs> right well so mr t, so mr t invasion of the angry grandpa community was interesting yeah well, uh, Tina D and Barbie, uh, they've been going at it all week so we'll, we can talk about that but tell me this story real quick so we don't forget Mr. T got porn bombed. Well, I just seen somebody in the. I know that um, Minnie Manson was on his channel, but somebody said 
that he showed uh, the brown hole? I'm just saying, I don't know. Brock said she showed her chocolate starfish. What the? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what I was Mr. trying King to say. Had a little mini butthole. What the? What? Right. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Right. So, at least in that mini mansion was unhinged. I was wondering what that was about because I saw like 13 comments under one of Mark's videos and I opened it up and it was all this ridiculous shit like using emojis to type 666 and all this stuff. I was like, what the fuck is going on over here? It was that episode named Mini. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Mark was, he's doing it up, I guess. I don't know. I think Karen he was showing Kinky Kim said she was showing her butthole. Oh, he was showing his butthole to Highway to Hell. Okay. Mr. T said Minnie did the longest, most bizarre porn bomb ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm <laughs> I'm sure um you had to take that stream down, Mark, right? <laughs> I can't go see that. I'm weird. I, I like to remember it years from now so I can laugh about it. Well, I don't like want to. Left did that to us. Well, you go find it and look at it. I'm sure, uh, yeah. Mark, you could become a member of the Mr. T channel and you probably could see um, it because he yeah. probably put that on members only, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Well, so. Sean the Brit, um, <laughs> if I got the story correct, Manson's uh, hermaphrodite. Yeah. <laughs> Monchichi so said, Minnie Manson's a chick? Holy crap. Minnie Manson is a, right, isn't that? I'm right about that, right? I have no idea. When Steve Billings interviewed. Oh, Steve Billings Minnie. is involved. It's got to be some shenanigans going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you know that? Did you know that Steve Billings is a big bad doxer? The word is out now. It's time to cancel Steve Billings. Is He's been exposed. He he puppets uh, Lisa and Bergs. <laughs> I know Steve Billings been running rampant. I mean, I don't uh, know. look. He's been literally running too because I heard that he was running from BBY. So I mean, I'm, I'm just really saying, really Steve. About. Everybody after What's Steve Billings. Money? What what what's the story there? Running from BBY. I don't know. I just heard that on. Another stream that Steve Billings hadn't been around because he's running from BBY or some shit. Oh, God. What's up, Bridget, honey? What's up, Karen? I think I'm saying hey to everybody. Well, hello, Stephanie K, Kimmy K. We got the K sisters. <laughs> that okay, start. so Giddy said Minnie was born female, but I could have swore that Steve Billings, when Steve Billings did the interview, the whole story was... That Minnie was born a hermaphrodite. And I mean, that Minnie was open about the whole thing, so. Right. I don't know. I don't care. Who cares? I don't care. I, I, I tell you the reason why I don't like Minnie Manson is because their devil worship out loud is not a, something I'm a fan of. Right. Exactly. So. so they that's can, why I don't. Well, I mean. Well, hello, Bridget. Boston Listen, girl, Bridget. I want Bridget. I want Bridget to get over there with Mr. T. That's probably impossible, right? And so when they start doing their rap battles, Bridget can go up there and win and own them all. Right. Yeah, I was on Mr. T's panel a couple times. You know, one time was calm. One time, both times were pretty calm though. Though so at the one time. They asked me to come up there for my opinion, but they didn't like it after I got up there. So I can't help right. that. You don't oh, want I just remember what the story was that you were gonna tell me naturally. So when we were talking before we went live, I said so I was saying something about Shane being back and you said no, he's back in jail. Uh okay, what happened? Well, I mean, he might be out again by now. It's like he I mean he, uh, he said there was no way he was going back. What's up, Barry Hot? Well, I mean, he's just, I guess Steve Billings told him not to go by the subway, and he done it anyway, and I guess that... <laughs> he can't right. leave the fucking house. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I don't battle below me, said Bridget. <laughs> oh, she battles up. 
Okay, that's so right. he left the house and went on went on a walk somewhere. What did he get? Does I anyone know? I mean, he went some. He was going somewhere and had something about a subway, and then next thing I know, he's in jail. I don't have no idea. I'm talking about a subway, like not a <laughs> subway you, again. not a subway you ride. I'm talking about like subway where you get a no, sub. Like a subway for, sandwich shop. Right. Yeah, he's in Alabama. Right. So hey, I have no idea. You know, I think what they're oh, doing. I think I might. My daughter might be home. I think what they're doing to um. Uh, Shane is they got a bunch of stuff on him and they're slow rolling the charges out so they'll pick him up on one thing and then he'll go in there and then he'll take care of that and he'll get out and then they'll pick him up on another thing you know what I'm saying that's just what I think they're doing to him well, there's do. several people from home base in the side chat somebody give me the tea on what's up with Shane so Steve Billings said many was born a hermaphrodite his parents chose for him to be a female but when he got older he chose to be male is what he told me yes yeah, see that's what I remember oh okay all right long time no talk <sighs> Bridget <sighs> Mr. T said he, he never loses a rap battle ass wagon well, oh, now Mr. T's trying to say he's better than Wagon? Huh. I don't know, Mike. What, how do you feel about that statement? You, you've probably listened to more of Mark's rap battles than I have. Yeah, I mean, I... Who do you, think, who do you think's better, Mark Terry or Wagon? Well, I mean, ain't neither one of them going to tour anytime soon. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm What's up, Kitty? I know, but you got all I know is there was a snatch. What? <laughs> I think Karen's has been interpreted in so many ways, Karen. Karen Karen's <laughs> been uh traumatized this week, I think. <laughs> uh Becky yeah. says you're not better than Wagon, Mr. T. All right. Sorry about your luck. Wow. Let's see. So I had uh, my own drama this week. I got in trouble with Carney. Um, <laughs> I got fussed out privately because I went up on Nellie's panel. Because you let him but trigger I had you. Enough. Okay, so here's the thing. I can let people run their mouth about me when nobody's really watching them because for me, then smoking them out's better than, you know, smothering them is better than anything because already nobody's watching. Why do I want to help them? Because I know once you become part of the shit show, everybody's then going to go watching them, right? So, so you don't want to help them when they don't have nobody watching, but you want to help them when they have people watching. No, I don't want to help certain people at all. Okay. The thing with me is I can't stand to be fucking lied on and, and all week i mean it's been constant for the last couple of weeks nelly's been trying his best sticking his feet in the fucking shit and walking through the fucking house and trampling on the carpet wondering why his mom is beating his ass and then crying about it and he's been including me in all of this shit uh with lies and i hadn't even been watching nelly but I, like I said, I was cleaning. My daughter's been really sick. You you know what's going on. Right. right. We'll leave it at that. I was busy with real life. Right. Um, so I took a smoke break. And when I sat down, um, Nellie was, there was a link in Steve Billings chat to Nellie's stream. And I clicked on it. And there he is once again. And I was just like this. I'm sick of this motherfucker. And so I just went up there. At least people know that I stood up for myself and called him out for lying on me. He's lying on me, Mike. I don't, I don't, it's so redundant to keep telling my story and where all that individual is concerned. And all that has happened is Nelly has done exactly what he wanted. He's went around catching everything on fucking fire while uh, holding the whole matches uh, while acting like he ain't done shit. And now uh, guess who's posting again? Guess who he stirred the fuck up again? So, Nelly, you know what the fuck you did. Right. And you know what the fuck you're doing. Right. But see, this is the way I take it with people. It depends on who's lying about me. If the person that's lying about me is known to be lying, I don't really care. Now, if somebody like 
Uh, let's say Steve Billings was to go up on his chat and start saying a bunch of shit that wasn't true. That would be a different story because, you know, S- Steve, um, people uh, respect what Steve says, so that would be different. But when somebody like Nelly is telling a story about me, I, pff, I could really give a shit less because um, if y'all want to go on and get into that trash can go right ahead i mean that's up to y'all that's y'all's problem i don't it doesn't really matter to me well i can ignore that ignore it and ignore it but you know how long i've been dealing with nelly and then when i got up there the motherfucker didn't he was sitting there screaming all he was screaming was uh i used to suck up lisa's ass first of all uh i'll suck nobody's ass and I didn't go back and listen to myself on Nelly's stream. So I don't know if I could even be heard or not, but I got some messages from a few people. So I think I might've been heard, but just in case, let it be known. I'm friends with people. And if me and my friends don't kiss each other's ass, uh, me and Mike ourselves have had words. Right. Uh, I don't kiss nobody's fucking ass. So wrong again. But I just don't like the narrative that he's trying to spin. Um, that I he said that I sat in a sad chat, uh, laughing it up while he was getting doxxed. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I know there were times where someone might say his first name and he would go in a fucking conniption, like somebody has sent a bomb to his address. Okay. I mean, I don't right. know what he's talking about, really. Right. Well, I mean, he's all rolling and trolling. He got Rich Life over there. Rich Life. Oh, yeah. Out. And then he went around lying, saying Rich Life gave him $4,000. Right, right. And then one day they're fighting, one day they're friends, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and then him and uh, Rich Life going around trying to strike people's channels, you know, whatever. And, uh. then, he was, and then he was also over there uh, crying like a bitch, talking about. All these people don't want me around here, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he literally sounds like Rich Life to me. I can't even remember what all he did to aggravate me this week. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> look, I didn't even know you went on Nelly's till afterwards. I was um I was gone uptown doing some taking care of some business and I came back and I somebody had sent me a message or something on Twitter about uh you being up there and I was like, What was she up there for? So I went and looked and I was like, Oh Lord. And then he was sitting there calling Nicole baby the day before. But when I confronted him about uh, is, are you trolling Nicole after what you did to fucking cry about what Barbie was doing to you? And then he was saying Nicole wasn't his girlfriend. But the day before that, the bitch was calling Nicole baby. Right. So which one is it, motherfucker? Well, I, now, isn't, it, isn't that his girlfriend now? Isn't that what's, what they're doing? No, now he said it's not his girlfriend that he was going to try to talk to her. But um, she did something, apparently. I mean, <laughs> she did something, apparently. Oh, What's up, okay. Ghost Room? Yeah. And uh, so now he can't agree with what she's doing. What's he up, also girl? He also continues to call me a liar about Flatty getting docs in his side chat. And I guess I'm going to have to sit down and go up into my cloud and see if I can find where I was screenshotting when that shit was happening all those fucking three, two maybe two years ago when that was happening, when old Snowball over there was docs and Flatty and Nelly side chat, and when him and Patricia and Mayor and all them were hanging out on panel. That happened 100%. Hand on the Bible. That might not mean anything to some of you folks, but I ain't lying on the Lord. Hand on the Bible. He let Flatty get fully doxed by Snowball in his side chat. I don't give a fuck what he says. So stop your crying about how the fuck you don't deal with real lifers. Shut the fuck up. Anytime it suits you, Nelly, you deal with the dirty. And you troll every fucking body. And you troll yourself and you proved that when you were a weirdo making an account of Snowball to talk to yourself like a weirdo. Fucking what a whack job. Right. Well, I mean, you know that's what he does. He's been doing it ever since he's been on here. I mean... <laughs> yeah. So there you go, Nelly. You feel good? See, I'm going to help you, Nelly. Some people might run over there later to hear what you got to say. Right. In return for you. Exactly. So you're welcome. Do it What's up, up Shawna? So, uh... Kinky Kim says, what happened with Evil Abe? 
<laughs> okay, so I don't know the full uh, situation because I didn't get to catch Abe's stream. But I heard the clip of uh, Abe saying that Mary Todd Lincoln left Abe. Did you hear said clip? That you... that's, that's what he said. That's what he said. I heard it. And so what do you think about that? Um... Well, I mean, I hope Abe's all right. I even sent him a message, but you know he don't never respond. But He'll um, that in some right, right. So, um, exactly, Sean. She says, Terry, you got more things to be dealing with than Nelly being his usual bitch boy self. Yeah, I only gave him five minutes, Sean the Brit. <laughs> so but, let me ask you something, Mike. So you, so then you think that Abe is, um. Kinky Kill said Nelly's yes, like, I, wait, where did, that, where did that comment go? Oh, well, fuck it. If you see it, read it. Somebody. Yes, <laughs> like cats. I know. I know. It's fine. Uh -huh. They they can restream it all they want, because if that's the only way they can get in a little bit of contact and maybe get a couple <laughs> viewers, then yeah. I'm more than glad for them. You go oh, right ahead. Jake restreaming us. That's okay. We don't all care. Right. Um, listen, now here's my question, okay? Um, do you think Abe's telling the truth, or do you think that he's just finally putting uh, R.I.P. in Mary Todd Lincoln's storyline? Well, it might be or some of that. I think he's. I think that he. What he did was he can't. He realized that he screwed himself around by his shenanigans he had recently. So now he's trying to play the sympathy card. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just my opinion. So, uh, so we should, we should. Is it tacky? You think we'll make Abe go lunatic mode if we did a poll on who believes it's uh, a storyline to revive his channel, or hit Mary Todd really left him? I mean, I'd, I'd be curious. To I mean, the poll, it, you know, because it, he didn't sound very snotty to me. Is what I'm saying. I mean, the story about uh, Mary Todd leaving him, which it was he said he wasn't married to her anyway. But anyway, if I mean that might be true, but I don't think all the emotion in, that he had in the beginning was really that valid. I mean, I mean it didn't it didn't sound legitimate to me. I'm just saying. To cry I mean, listen, part. when your eyes leak, everything from your face leaks. Like right. your nose, like, and it takes a minute. You still snot, and it's not just like go from boo-hoo and falling apart to dry talking. That's my thing. And I also have watched more people than one on here be in the hot seat and or have a channel struggling because people are upset with them for one reason or another. And they come with some kind of, oh, my friend died, everything's tragic in my life. Uh, pity me sob story so that everybody will come be like oh are you okay okay troll happy said is Abe even telling the truth has anyone ever heard her with him like a couple would be okay so yes I have uh, heard a couple of times a chick in the room talking with Abe and she claimed to be Abe's woman and definitely was the same voice uh, both times um, but it was very quick and short lived. And uh, Patricia, I mean, Patricia, Lord, Morticia has talked to uh, someone that was his girlfriend on the phone. So I've always kind of credited that Abe did have a partner. What's up, Coachism? What's up, Odame? And so maybe he's telling the truth. I just don't know if he was really that sad about it. Right. That's my thing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, I mean, he if might very well be gone, but he might not be as because he went from like being so broken hearted and going, "Thank God I didn't marry the bitch." Right, exactly. <laughs> with the, with a straight, normal Abe tone. I mean, there was no. <laughs> I mean, and and besides, if you was look, if my wife left me and I was that upset about it, I mean, my, what's my first reaction going to be? Am I going to come make a video about it? I mean, probably not. If I was that upset, he really. He said that's why he hadn't been around, so maybe it wasn't his first reaction. Right. But maybe he, maybe he was at home alone for the first time and lonely and sad and drinking that bottle of gin and had no friends and by himself. 
go to the internet. I don't know. Well, I mean, he's a decent actress. I like, <laughs> I like it, even if it's a typo. <laughs> Terrible thing. Um, let's see. If it's true, I hope Abe's okay. Well, listen. Um, if it's true, I mean, I hate it. You know, heartbreak sucks. I said that last week. I've I've had heartbreak before, and it's like a sickness, and it sucks, and it, it, nothing fixes it but time and distraction. Right, but I mean, yeah, and I I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just I guess I'm different. I if I was first of all, if my wife had a problem with something I was doing, and I loved my wife and I cared about her, I probably would try to change what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's what yeah. normally people do. Um, yeah. Or we would at least have a discussion about it so we both could come to mutual agreement on it. Um, but, you know, just like if my wife told me today, I don't want you on the Internet no more because I think it's uh, interfering with our relationship, blah, 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 you know, then I would we would talk about it. And if it was um, if it was really that concerning to her, then I would make a change if that's what was needed. That's probably why I am. That's probably why me and my wife has been together for 30 years. I mean, just saying. If I thought that if if Tom came to me and said, I, that's a problem for me, and it's either that or me, I, that's easy. Exactly. I mean. That's so <laughs> fucking easy. Bye, y'all. I would still, like, want to talk to some of y'all, you know, that I DM with, but. If, like, he felt that the drama and the uh, YouTube stuff was an issue in our relationship, I'd shut it down. Angelo said, ask yourself this question. Has Abe ever shown an ability to care for anything other than himself? Not that I know of. Not really. Right. My miss is like me trolling YouTube. I miss when we would tag team troll. Yes. All about compromise. That's right. And I mean, I, I you, listen, it's, it's a, I mean, it ain't my saying, it's an age old saying, but it's a fucking great saying. If they're not financing you, feeding you, or fucking you, who the fucking cares what they think? What's up, Dateline? Well, hello, my Dateline. That was a, like a, I love that video you put out, Dateline. That was, that was great. I loved it. Yeah, it was good. Right. And also, thank you, Dateline, for putting up and, Oh, Nelly over there lying and saying he had something. Oh, yeah, let me remember. That was another thing I wanted to say. So Nelly was screaming, and I couldn't get into what I wanted to say, but Nelly is trying to spin the narrative that he had a rogue mod, so he had to um, he had to mod up Snowball. That's not exactly true. When Nelly and Lisa were hanging out, when they both first came back, because they came back together, in case any of y'all don't remember, and Nellie started helping Lisa with her channel because she didn't have a channel anymore because Peg had taken it and she didn't have a computer. And so all she had was like this new channel she made and Nellie started helping her go live. She got, he got a rogue mod that I tried to help him with. And somehow he finally managed to deal with that. The shit that was going on with flat and Lisa and mayor and uh, Patricia and all of them and Nelly, all that was down the road after all the rogue mod stuff was completely over with. And then he modded up that motherfucker. So either your member berries got some Alzheimer's Nelly, or you're just a flat fucking liar. But either way, you got your story wrong. Nelly rides snowballs nuts after he was released. Thank you, Carney. Exactly. What's up, J Cow? J No Cow. Anyway, did I just I, I sometimes I'll do that because I'll think about things through the week and I'll forget them and then I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, that's another motherfucking misconception and twist the game. Uh eight ninety eight ninety five there, Mr. T. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Mark's been making me laugh lately. I I can't even make, I mean I can't even believe I'm saying that, but well, <laughs> <laughs> right. He has been making me laugh lately, so hopefully, you know, it'll last for a while before he goes manic again. What's up, J.K. No Cal? 
Yeah, see, Bacon saw it, Carney saw a bunch of us saw it. So the only people Nellie can lie to about me and spin a stupid narrative is to people that are new, like the Boyk people that merged over here or some of the drama community people or some of these be our guest people that are new over here. You can lie to all of them, but all the motherfuckers that were here know I'm telling the truth, Nellie, so fuck you right in your fucking taint. Yes, the taint, so that it misses and pokes you and leaves splinters and fucking hurts with a stick. Did I add that part? Dumb fuck. You get it out of your system eventually. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> It'll be... me all week. Mr. T needs a new prayer rag because the old one was used as a cum rag by Shorty. Who's Shorty? <laughs> Remember Shorty that used to live with him as his brother's girlfriend or whatever? Oh, you know, the one that was hanging the t shirts. Did they all move out? I guess. Yeah. She gone. That's what Mark said. She gone. Yeah. Yeah, Dave all knows. In fact, that was listen, in fact, that is how me and Dateline started getting close. So thank you, uh Snowball. Appreciate it, honey. Because when Snowball was doing all of that stuff and I started figuring everything out, and I cause Snowball is like a fucking puts plays a game with people. And that's what people don't understand. There's plenty of evidence that's put out there for you to have. And there was a lot of people that weren't believing me at first, but the more stuff went, the more stuff went, then everybody's like, oh, it's undeniable. And so then, um, you know, some people were saying, well, has he ever spoke his voice? First of all, he just made a video reacting to Bacon on a Snowball account and answering Bacon. Right. Okay. This motherfucker don't give a fuck. He's not ever trying to really hide who he is. Okay. I'm not going over the story over this motherfucker again. He's already feeling like a legend with us all continuing to talk about him. Well, hello, Val. How are you? What's up, darling? So, um, uh, Steve Billings said, Nelly said he came from Guest Mob the other day. Well, Steve Billings, okay. did, you, well, did you ever remember him when? at Guest Mob, Steve? At Guest Mob, did you? I just wonder. Uh, I thought Nellie came from Papa's. Well, I mean, Nellie came from Grizz's, right? That's what I thought, but you know, maybe, maybe he was a uh, guest mob. I don't see it, but Bacon, uh, you saw that, right, Bacon? He was totally responding to you, and he was letting you know that it doesn't matter that he's a tier three. He can, by new laws, now be on the internet if he wants to. Who would take the time <laughs> to let Bacon know that? And that's just so a minute thing. Who has private uh, conversations between Lisa? Who has private conversations? The DMs that have been posted on that motherfucker's channel between uh, the private ones, between him and Lisa, him and Allison, uh, him and Pagel, a uh, private phone conversation between him and Pagel. Um, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Him and Flatty uh, posting up private conversations between him and AZ, okay? Uh, who has my private conversations and my private phone calls? Me, motherfucker. Only a dumbass. And then he posted a picture of himself, a current picture of himself, on both channels, his OG Snowball channel, I mean his OG Gun channel and his Snowball channel at the, on the same day, at the same time, a current picture. He obviously had lost a lot of weight. Okay, so who would do that? Me, if it was my stuff. He's also shown on the Snowball channel videos from his OG gun channel that are locked. So no one would be able to be getting in there unless they had his password. So whoever Snowball is, if I'm so fucking stupid, Nelly, and I'm wrong, then it, this person has access exactly. to guns, private messages, private phone calls, private original YouTube account. Exactly, Shonda Britt. She doesn't understand that, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm not. What I'm doing is defending myself okay. from all the lies you've been telling on me all week. So you feel that Nelly is credible enough for you to defend yourself this vehemently, is what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, yes. 
<laughs> Fuck no, you're right. It's, it's the not that he's character. credible enough. Is that he's just one of them people that triggers you like Abe? Well, because I because I've been fighting with Nelly for years. And well, he knows maybe it's time to stop. And also, and also, because if he's going to sit over there and tell lies to these people, then I'm going to correct the lies with the truth. I mean, so, I understand, I understand what you're saying. Because he's lying. He's just lying. But anyway, I mean, really, that's all I was going to say about uh, proving the proof on God. But right. So now that you, now that he knows it bothers you, you know what I'm saying. He will well, continue to try to trigger you. You notice whenever you stop. No, I, no, I don't. No, I don't. Sean the Brit, what? <laughs> oh, Lord. No, I don't. What? Whoa, to me. How you doing? Nellie's sworn testimony is court ain't no good. Woo! All right. Hey, so... <laughs> Well, let's talk about another fucking loser. Berg's this week still been uh, riding Jill's ashes, so that's pretty sick. And also, I saw that Mark Terry said Glamorous <laughs> Life was suing him. What is that about? I have no doubt. I, I heard it too, but I don't know what that's about. I just don't understand why people <laughs> are always and continuously, continuously wanting to bring back the low lives of YouTube. It's it's they be gone for three or four years, and people yeah. make them. Oh, Sean Britt says you don't think that he is credible. That's no, <laughs> I don't. No, I don't. What are you talking about, Stephanie K? But see, that's the same thing Carney was trying to say to you. You're, you're. Yeah, I know. I got, but I got in trouble with Carney. Right, because you're too good to be allowing the, him to take up this much rent in your head. Carney said, "Don't you ever go back on his panel again." <laughs> <laughs> and Carney don't ever tell me what to do, so I was like, "I won't. Don't look, worry." Look, Sean the Brit said he gonna get. He can get... sit over there. He can sit over there and lie. Now I got out. I got. You know, whatever. I felt I felt better when I went up there and fucking cussed him out. Honestly, it made me feel better. Okay, well, at least it made you feel better. Are you better. getting sucked out again, Dateline? Oh, yeah, Mr. T, are you getting sued by Glamorous Life? You shamed Kat into dropping it. Well, I wonder why she was going to sue Mark Terry. She's not suing, though, no damn buddy. <laughs> getting, your law, getting your lawyer judge, y'all. Oh Lord. So I this is what I don't understand. If somebody's gonna sue you, are they and first of all, if they're gonna fill it out themselves, uh the paperwork and submit it and do all that, that would be easy to knock holes in. So and then are they really gonna spend the money to get an attorney and do it like it should be done? Is they really gonna oh, do that? Uh, right. What's that man? No, no, they're not. They're talking shit is what they're doing. I did listen. I did see that Tina D tried to enter the sweet boy troll Avenue, whatever the fuck it is over here. And her and Barbie went at it off and on all week. And then I seen you and Tina have a little conversation. And then Tina left and she said she can't play over here at our house no more. Her mom said we mean. Well, I mean, she I, I wasn't trying. I wasn't trying to be mean to her. Steve Billen's fault because she wanted him to come up there, but he wasn't nowhere to be found. So they called me up there, and they just didn't like what I had to say about it. And I'm sorry. I wasn't meaning anything. I wasn't <laughs> trying to disrespect her. I wasn't trying to do none of that. But um, you know, if you come over this um side of town, and you start uh trying to control the narrative and you only want people to see your side and if you and if they don't take your side then you want to take your ball and go home well that's fine take your ball and go home because we're not interested in playing that game what's up trisha g listen she wrote a whole paragraph in mark's comments about 
And and what what amazes me is that she only wants to fight, and if she can't be fighting, then she doesn't participate. And don't get me wrong, listen, Tina makes me laugh. I think she's funny. Um, and I think in a battle, she owns about most people, right? Um, but she seems to be a uh, fake thick skin. Does that make sense? She perpetrating a fraud with that thick skin because the minute it ain't about her, she's sitting there calling Barbie out saying Barbie only wants it to be about her, but Tina only wants it to be about her and she only wants to be fighting. Well, hello, Mills. How are you? Yeah, exactly. And that was my whole point. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, whatever. I mean, I, I don't go to her chat and I never have. So it, it's, it doesn't matter to me either way. Well, he, uh, I don't know. You you went crazy all all of a sudden. Somebody. I watch minimal drama community stuff. So. <clears throat> yeah, something happened. What? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. You was roboting real bad there for a minute. That means somebody's on. They're streaming something. But that's fine. You're fine uh, now. You're I fine. It just did it for a second. Anyway, I never really watched Be Our Guest. Like, or I watched the angle stuff, but then after that was over, I didn't like do the where they sectored off. I didn't follow any of of that stuff, right? But something said that their community just ran a little different, and like how we say "fuck off" and time each other out, and you know the different things that the way was over here. Are you getting are, are you getting messages on your phone? No, my I turn my messages off. Oh. I'm getting messages. I'm not touching my phone. I haven't moved. Do you want me to go out and come back in? No, you're fine. It just break okay. every once in a while. It just like it. Can you chew her microphone up? Said Munchie <laughs> Chee. Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> hey. Well, hopefully, uh, we, we'll have it straight for long. What's up, Nick? How are you? And I got a nice microphone, but it's going to go on the computer. Cindy Lou Who, how are you? What's up, Cindy Lou Who? Oh, I bet it's my internet because my chat just disconnected on my laptop. But no, it shouldn't be that because I'm not using my um, house internet. I'm only using uh, my Verizon. So you have your Wi-Fi off? On my phone, yes. Okay. You may try to turn it on. No, you're fine now. It, I mean, okay. it's not a big deal. It's just it does it every every once in a while, and it's not bad. Mm -hmm. So we're good. We're good. Now my chat's disconnect, and that's gonna piss me off. That's your internet there. <laughs> yeah, because on my laptop, <clears throat> so I can't see what you guys are saying. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, so what I was saying was that. They're not used to the way we do things over here. So that's why they cry about things like getting timed out for five fucking minutes. And see, it's you like know. once you get to other internet that you got, you're getting, you're going to be a whole lot better off because, you know, you can. Yeah, I'm going to put cable in. Fuck right. this other shit. See, that's what I got. I got cable internet and I, we're streaming right now. I'm running three pieces of software plus talking. And I'm doing a speed test as I'm standing here talking to you. And I'll let you know what my speed test reveals as soon as it's done here in just a second. Do what? Nothing. Go ahead. What'd you say? <laughs> I said, here we go with the nerd talk. <laughs> well, I can't help it. I just want to see. I never tested my. I well, never. One of us has got to be a nerd. Shit, we wouldn't get nothing done. I, I look. So I got uh, while streaming, running three pieces of software. I have four hundred and eighty on the download, and twenty two fifty on the upload. Meanwhile, I can't even get my chat back up on my laptop with a ping of thirty one on the download and and 27 on the up so that's not bad right, that's a good connection here. and i hope everyone understood exactly what stitches just said to you guys in side chat i know angelo was asking something he asked a question i read it we didn't read it then i forgot 
if he's in the chat, he can ask again while I'm trying to get my <sighs> fucking internet back on. What? It's, the internet won't reconnect? I'm getting it to right now. Well, happy birthday, Nix. Did you know it was Nix's birthday? Tomorrow is Nix's birthday. Oh. I can't yeah, I was going to get up in the morning and give her a post. Tomorrow is her birthday, which <laughs> might be that. It, wait a minute. It's tomorrow for us. Is it it's tomorrow already, for her? It's already her birthday then. Oh, today's her birthday. Because today is yeah. tomorrow where she's at. That's right. Well, happy birthday to you. What? Happy birthday to you. I hope you're getting drunk. Happy birthday, beautiful, sweet, funny nicks. I got my internet back up. Happy birthday to you. And you, and you, and you. I hope you're having a fabulous birthday, darling. All right, right let's see. There's I would, no, 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 I would no. sing the song with Tara, but she never sings the same <laughs> lyrics twice and she doesn't no, let me know it's what she... unique, honey. <laughs> it's your birthday you're special we're all happy the day you were born kind of a thing all right well i might need to call my child in here to tell me why i'm not connecting to the motherfucking internet show available networks i did that I might have to just peek the. Bing. I was about to say, I might have to just. Oh my God. Let me just see if I can. <laughs> what are you it's doing? just being so fucking dumb. Here what we you, go. You know, StreamYard. It's... Can you look at the chat in StreamYards when you're on a phone? Yeah, I can. It's coming back up. Yeah, I can see the chat. Let's get it. Let me move it over to that. Oh, I say I can. I mean, why is my internet running so bad today? I have no idea. I mean, what? How much I stuff? Can I comment. How much stuff is being streamed at one time in your house? Here we go. I got it back. I got it back. I, Man, I don't know. It. I seen um Shonda Britt uh get was getting with uh Steve earlier saying they need to hack into your internet. So I mean, and then all of a sudden you but started having these problems. Try. So, uh, I don't know, Steve Billings. Right, Steve uh -oh, Billings. Uh-oh, why was Trisha G timed out? Hold on, what's happening over here? What happened? I, I think Shonda Britt's messing with Trisha G. Or that's Rich a, abuse, two uh, weeks. Or that's Stop a, the comments. Fake. Oh, is it a, if it's a fake one, let's check that, and that can... If that's a fake account, just get rid of it. Yeah, don't delete the messages. If it's fake and you know it's fake, just delete it. Yeah, if it's a clone. Clones are such the... To me, <laughs> clones are the weakest Look, clone. There's Shonda no creativity <laughs> in that account. Shonda Bit Britt says, LOL, Ooh. oops. <laughs> Last week, Icky, Rich abusing. This week, motherfucking Shonda Brett. See how these children misbehave. MJ? No, Shonda Brett. Oh, yeah, earlier. That's right. MJ got me. Oh, I thank you, baby. I'm glad you heard me. <laughs> I can't forget that. He's going to be in trouble for that later. Uh, Brockovich is taking ownership. She says it was her fault. She hit the wrong thing. Okay. <laughs> so listen also there listen i was going to talk about something kind of serious it's not got anything to do with youtube if it's a buzzkill we can move on from it but who all woke up this morning to realize that north korea enlisted eight hundred thousand civilians voluntarily to fight a war against us and they start they launched a missile at us <laughs> and uh they call us uh war mongrels and they're going to take us down hey. Emma, is this breaking news for any of you or did you yeah. all wake up and see my headline i don't watch that stuff i don't normally watch that stuff but tom showed me this morning so then of course i went and did my own thing to see if it was real right 
And I was like, okay, so that's what that's what my child said, A Rod, that North Korea will never be able to touch us. But who was really sending those motherfucking information balloons over our head? What was that really about? What the fuck's really going on? What's that right? So they can get you looking at the sky so you don't pay attention to what's going on the ground? That's what's going on. We're coming up out of the ocean. And then if they want you to look at the, don't want to look at the sky, then they do something on the ground you can pay attention Fine to. Over. Yeah. Smoke your mirrors. You know. Korea. Watch when this, is it? Watch this yeah. hand while this hand's screwing you. That's what, that's what it does, right? I know, Brocky, but the whole enlisting the 800,000 civilians voluntarily, do you think that that was a lie or do you think that really happened that many people are signing up to kind of fuck with us i mean we got that kind of hate over there you think the bottom line is the american gun owner is the largest army in the world okay true true yeah but we can't our guns ain't shit against missiles the fuck you know what i'm saying lord have mercy Never know. To be fate, last time Rocket Man tried something, the U.S. sent a carrier group over there. Yeah. I don't know. There's nothing voluntary with North Korea, says Brock. So their 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 news to what they're telling us is their propaganda. Is that what you're saying? Um, P Punky says nothing is voluntary in North Korea. Donald Trump says it takes money and technology to win a war. North Korea has neither. But how do we know Donald Trump? How do we know what they have truly? See, see those that are of us, which is a lot of us in here, are old enough to remember. We've already played this game before back in the 80s with Russia and all. We already played this game, okay? And then you had yeah. the man come save us that was that was ronald reagan that was his job Reun, reunite it's a cycle it's a cycle they bilk you for money and they bilk you for money and then whenever they get done bilking you for all the money they can bilk you and they got you right to the point of breaking they reset it and it starts all over again yeah it does kind of feel like they're trying to push the great reset in my opinion all they're doing now is conditioning you Condi yes. conditioning yeah. you to accept what they're going to push on you and that is to become part of their new world order their one economy digital currency where they control mm -hmm. everything and you have nothing you know how the game plays just like they say if everybody doesn't get aboard with what we're going on you'll be outcasted well outcast me and i'm gonna be the outcast you ever see escape from New off, you'll be cut off from being able to get resources you ever hear you ever see that movie escape from new york with snake pliskin i don't think so well, i know the movie you're talking about but i actually don't think i've ever seen it okay oh, what no that was that with not, a little monkey no that wasn't no, escape that was from new yeah that was what was that movie with it wasn't Kirk Douglas. It was who's married to um, Goldie Hawn. Um, yeah, it wasn't Kirk. Not Kirk Douglas, but oh I god! Just made that name up. What are you talking about? Now you're going to distract me with me trying to think of what the fuck that is. Russell, Russell, what's his fucking name? Kurt Russell. See, and I see think Carl. that what's that movie? Something Chinatown maybe. Escape from L.A., thank you, my Dateline. And, and I do have it right, right? It's Kurt Russell. God, don't ever take me to play motherfucking trivia. So, Carl, this isn't the mark of the beast yet. The mark of the beast is when you allow them, okay, yeah. to take bring really you well. into their, their social order that they're trying to instill in everybody and get their jabs and do all that, okay? So you're either going to allow yourself to be marked by the beast or as Mark Terry says, you're going to walk the path of the righteous. It's all about good and evil. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and good always prevails. 
Usually after evil kicks its ass for a while, but good will always prevail. Evil wins battles. Good wins the war. Exactly. What's that computer and all they're doing yes, now. I mean, if, you, if you believe what I believe, there will be a control by the government and there'll be all kinds of things. Um, I, I always understood people that had doubt in, in different things and end time prophecies. Uh, over the years, I could see how a lot of things applied, but then it came to pass. But there are certain specific things that are happening now that were specifically foretold in end time prophecy, like specifically that the, there would be all this war and all these different things at the same time that the Euphrates River would dry up. So just if you care to know, you can just start there and find your rabbit hole. But I definitely feel like America is not as strong as a lot of people think and that Yes, we do all have guns, but we also have a lot of mental health and our mental health is a is a it's an epidemic at this point. And I think when the shit goes down, more people will treat it like a purge than a revolution will band together because I think they got us all sick enough and demented enough and programmed enough to turn on each other before we would band together and turn against them. But that's just my opinion. But that's, see, but that's watching the Smoke and Mirrors show. Because the true people that will stand up and fight for this country, you don't see them on social media posting stuff. You don't see them at these rallies. These people that are rallies with American flags and patriots, those aren't patriots. That's what's known as FBI COINTELPRO, which they did yeah. back in the 50s and 60s. Um with all the race stuff they did back then. This is the same thing now. It's just modernized. Same thing. The banks are closing. Walmarts are closing. And I know people might think that sounds silly. Um, but think about what wa the corporation that Walmart is. But it's called, you know what cognitive dissonance is? Yes, I do. So it's whenever they keep doing stuff to you, you know it's wrong, but they do it so much that you accept it as being the truth because it's done to you so much. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And that, that's, yes. What they're, that's what they're doing. And they have to do it before the next election, so it's going to get interesting. Yes. So I agree with what Sean the Brit said. A reset is coming, global population, yada, yada. I do feel like they've done this before. If you know your history, and I'm not trying to be a – History teacher, uh, it's not the first time they've reset, and I feel like that's what's happening now. I don't believe Walmart is closing. They have great no. Look it up. A lot of WalMarts are closing. Not Walmart in its not Walmart in general, but across the nation, a lot of them are closing down. Right, and you know what that is? That's all part of the plan too. You know, and I guarantee you, if you look at the the ones um, that are closing, they are in strategic places to cut people off from supplies. I mean, exactly, and turn that motherfucking building into a FEMA camp. <laughs> Shit, what are they gonna do with that big ass building? They close it down. But yes, they are. They've been slowly cutting our supply. Uh, that's why the shelves look weird and the babies are low on formula. They get the slowly putting us into, into it. Listen, you can go only so many days without food or water, depending on how much overweight you may or may not be, right? I'm just going to quit eating and drinking, honey. I ain't taking no mark. Exactly, Carl. De Carl DeCuck says, in today's time, conspiracy theories, theorist equals truth teller, fact checker equals liar, and patriotic equals terrorist. And that's exactly Very right. True. That's right. I just want her, the Simpsons for my future, to control supplies, ordering, pickup, paying by cards, etc. Exactly, Val. Exactly, Phil. See, you guys are all very bright. See, I knew there was plenty of thinking people on this platform. Oh, yeah, there's, pl there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Hmm. Trisha said, and now, and they have been replaced by dollar stores. They want to make us whole U.S. 15-minute cities. Yeah, like Dollar General has taken over. 
like in the South for everything. There's more Dollar Generals than there are Waffle Houses, and only Southern motherfuckers get that. Because there's a Waffle House at every motherfucking exit in the South, just about. Well. Except- you can have three houses living in bumfuck G- nowhere, and they won't even have a grocery store, but those motherfuckers will have a Waffle House and a Dollar General. Yes, Dateline. And they've shut everything down on YouTube. Like, if we had a channel that was monetized right now, they'd kill this. Oh, yeah. Hey, babe, will you bring me my charger? Oh, I think he went outside. I gotta go get it. So you mean to tell me you came to stream and you didn't even charge the phone? It was completely charged. I'm I'm about to get a new phone. Hold on a second. Dollar General is approximately every five miles. Right. They've thrown Dollar Generals up here in the country out where I live like crazy. Yeah. They're, listen, they're everywhere over here. When I came here from Atlanta, like I had seen them a little bit, like on the skirts of Atlanta and stuff. But I had no clue. But the when I moved to this side, oh, my God, they're everywhere. I bet you I can be to five different Dollar Generals in under 15 minutes. Each right. time. Yeah, what I've stocked up on my supplies for what if something's coming is is liquor and bullets. So that way when you meet up with me, we can do one or two things. We can sit down <laughs> and have a drink and chill out, or I can put a bullet in you. It doesn't matter to me. Either way, you want it to roll. Choose wisely, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like the red pill, the blue pill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And listen, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to fuck us up and get off on some kind of political rant because we all know I'm not political at all. In fact, I feel like our biggest enemy, our biggest threat is our own government. No. Because they have the ability to protect us and really be strong enough to do it and they really don't. And sometimes I feel they aid in destruction for their own personal reasons, like nine eleven. So I'm one of those people. Right. Uh-oh, coming in hot. What? <laughs> okay. Anyway. So, I have a good friend in Canada, and he said there are dollar stores on every corner, kind of like we have Circle K's and 7-Elevens. And, yeah, the dollar store's not all a dollar anymore. Right. <laughs> but the dollar... See, that's they have a there's a difference there, isn't there? One that's got dollar stuff, like you have the dollar stores, and then you have like a dollar tree. Yeah, but remember that everything's a dollar dollar store now, it's not, it's like five below, it's like five dollars and under is really what the dollar store is now. Oh, everything's crazy expensive. I spend four hundred dollars almost a week on food. That's right, Steve Bill, and, that, and that's just cooking like. Minimal things, kind of not really a lot of lunch stuff, not really any snacks, barely, and dinners for a week. Look, and y'all really, I could really tell y'all something that would, it, y'all might think is out there. But if you watch Tom McDonald's new song, you've seen the spaceships, the little alien craft, you know what I'm saying? I am. To me, that's not about um, the aliens coming to invade us that's that i don't take it that way i take it that that them alien ships that's taking everything and leaving that's these people like elon musk these billionaires that are building their little castle in the blue their castle in the sky they already got the hookup you know exactly listen who was it that it was a black guy that did a um Stand up, and he was talking about how they're le- they go leave a show. <laughs> right. I mean, go ahead. I just keep telling myself everything's temporary, and my my little suitcase I carry around my soul in over here, it it'll only live for so long, and then it'll die. So it only, you know, right. I guess whatever. All right. Well, I guess we got the. The political show out of the way. Now, what's next? What's on your Elon agenda? Musk has Down syndrome, says Donald Trump. I wonder, you think so? Uh, I don't know. He doesn't look like that to me. 
I'd rather have an alien apocalypse than a nuclear war. Huh. I guess it depends on how strong, powerful, and in what their intentions are from the aliens. So next Sunday, um, I'll keep up with YouTube this week, but because I'll be resting a lot, so I'll actually be able to have a lot of downtime and listen. But I won't be able to drink or anything, and I will be back on those pain pills, so you'll have that mellow, Tara, oh. <laughs> next yeah. Sunday. Okay. You're not mellow right now? You don't. You don't I'm seem. I'm kind of mellowed. Yeah, as you say, you don't seem too, you know, wigged out. So. No. Exactly, war, 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 war. They're going to rage quit planet Earth, right? <laughs> 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 they gone. <laughs> I like that one. Donald Trump is either Jake Potts or Magna. Well, I don't think it could be Jake. Right? Isn't Jake? Uh, playing our stream through his stream. Hey, well, let's check our poll on AIM. It's six about it's, about sixty five thirty five. That sixty five what? It's genuine or an act? No, sixty five. It's he's acting. Okay, Oda May said stitches breaking news. Burps. I imagine that means Bergs. The you know. The loser would like to know why he's blocked. Don't shoot the messenger. I don't know. You might have to ask Dateliner or, or yeah, I didn't um, know Bergs was Brock, blocked. He right. must have done something. And I assume that means Bergs. Bergs been over there riding fucking Jill's ashes like a dirty motherfucker he is. Fuck right. out of here, Bergs. So if uh he got gone. Then he got gone because of something he did. Yeah, said. you're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to find out from uh, Dayline or Brock why you're hid. Because chances are they had listen. The, the rules are the rules. <laughs> if you get hit, it's probably by Dayline or Brock, and they're gonna tell me why they did it if I ask them. But that's about probably as far as it's gonna go. Right. With me, I don't need to know why. I, I trust them. So <laughs> I just asked more out of nosiness, but I'm right. sure Berg said something. Yeah, 55 is trash. Ex exactly. <laughs> so uh, are you going to... Um... Oh, because I gave him what he wanted, Cactus. He's, he's so happy. <laughs> exactly. I contributed to the needy. So what he's trying to do is trigger her again, so she'll go back on his panel, and she probably will. Yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have surgery on Tuesday. I I can't. I gotta after we get done here, I'll be cooking dinner, finishing up my laundry, and tomorrow I'll we're we're gonna record our podcast. But then also I've got a lot to get ready for before surgery. I ain't got time for Nelly. Right. <laughs> yes, you have a lot to get ready for there, Miss Terry. You need to, you know. Yeah. Bergs is abusing Jill and death. Yes, he is, Jen Jen. Yes, he is. Well, tell Nelly to leave the stream up so everybody can make sure we go listen to it. Bless his heart. Right. And I'm glad I triggered his stupid fucking ass. Cry me a river. <laughs> Cry me a river. We already proved, well, yes, Dateline already showed it. Plus the people that were here already knowed it. Thank you, Nix. I appreciate it. And I hope you've had a happy birthday, honey. Um, Trump got arrested. Is it true Trump got arrested? What is she talking about, Mike? Do you know? Mm, I don't know. I've seen something on Twitter. They're saying that Trump's going to get arrested on Tuesday. Whatever. Okay. Which, That's I mean, some bullshit. I that's so fucking stupid. For what? He ain't getting arrested. They're trying to... I just got to come back. Abe is a terrible actor, says the Paul. <laughs> it says Icky. Right. Thank you, Jasmine. They're, they're just trying to trigger you up. So... They, trigger me up on what? I'm talking uh, about... Nelly. Oh, I no, no, not Nelly. Nelly. I'm, I'm not talking about Nelly. Nelly. I'm talking about the Trump thing. <laughs> oh, you can't trigger me on that, Mike. I don't care about none of those motherfuckers. No, not me. I'm not trying to. They are. That's why. No, they... I know what I'm saying. They can't trigger me up. I he got served Friday to appear for what though? Trump is the king. He will never be arrested. He's trying to make it a whole thing. I want. Well, I want to know. I'm nosy. Well, they're just trying to. I don't... 
they look they're trying to about saying that he was paying the prostitute not to talk or whatever i don't know oh my god with the same thing they already tried before did all they try to do is incite people that are so-called patriots and do like they did on january 6th is what they're trying yeah, where to they do. Yeah, where they faked it and brought the Patriots in. Exactly. To storm the Capitol. Fuck out of here. It's about his monies to the coochie, said Trisha G. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Sean the Brit. Yes, Sean the Brit. Exactly. That's my thoughts. Exactly, Cindy Lou said they've been saying he's going to be arrested for a year. My grandfather, okay. my grandfather used to have a saying. He used to say that doctors, lawyers, and politicians—they all should be shot. <laughs> yeah, they're all in the bed <laughs> That's what he said. <sighs> all right, so if, all right. So let's see what else happened over here on YouTube this week, Mike. Mm, the just lurking deal if you want to talk about that yeah i was trying to figure out what's still going on and why this person is still continuing out uh stewie did a reaction lindy did a reaction and then this didn't just like just keep saying they're going to show all this proof they put out this sheet of paper acting like lindy did this mass docs but there's one here's the thing I, I'm going to need just, just lurking to really do it up because there's one particular person on that list that just lurking posted. Okay. So just lurking posted up a phone list of all these people in Boyd and said that it was Lindy that gave, he said, I'm going to call him a he because he is Ryan catfish. Don't negate, um, me respecting a pronoun you're not uh, you don't identify you identify as a fucking catfish um so he literally posted up this like log okay with all these phone numbers on it but he blocks out he shows like the first like four digits right like the area code and maybe like the first one or two numbers and the name so I don't know where this list came from or what the fuck kind of fuckery they're trying to pull or trying to act like Lindy did this mass docs on all these people. But I know one particular person on that list that I'm very close with. And I actually am so close with them that I talk with them privately from my phone number to their phone number. And that is not their phone number. And they said that has never been their phone number. So what the fuck's really going on? One big boy circle jerk. I mean, I, yeah. When it, whenever look, whenever these things like this come out, and there's so much involved, and there's so much history that's been going on, they've all done something. They're all involved in some way. I don't get involved because see now you don't you're getting into something you don't know the history you don't know who's telling right. what is right it's best right. just to let it move on by just let them go down the road they do their thing yeah uh you know that's just the way I look at it yeah but you know they brought their self over here in our community and that motherfucker catfish Stewie and instead of just bowing out gracefully. They're still keeping on. I don't know if they need a fucking 5150 mental health check or what their end game is, but like Stewie tried not to make a big deal out of it. And there, it's two weeks deep now. People still on it. There's still person still over there making community posts and bringing it to our community. So I'm just wondering because I'm reacting to it and I'm wondering what this list is because I know a particular person and that's not their phone number, nor has it ever been. So I guess we'll wait for those receipts from just lurking unless someone else I'm, I'm staying out of it. Catfish said Mark. Yeah, it's a catfish. Right. Exactly. And then that just lurking is talking about who well, that Stewie was just trolling me. Just scam me out of my money. Blah, blah, blah. Look, 
Y'all was in right. private. Y'all was in privates. Y'all was doing the boogie nights or whatever. If you don't yeah. want to send any money and kept sending money and you're out, that's on you. You you yeah. learned a lesson, okay? But, and talking about trying to get Bridget get getting so butthurt and so fucking weird while you're catfishing Stewie. So you know in the end that Stewie's not a gay man. So you know that you're never gonna be with Stewie and that you're just mind fucking Stewie. And it means so much to you that you start trying to do things like go real life on Bridget's nieces. And then you want to come over here and cry to this community and other communities and the boy community about why we should be uh, Nell and uh, Stewie and Lindy to the cross and you're some kind of victim in all this. You are no victim in all this. You are the per you are the perpetrator of all of this. Exactly, Dateline. Exactly. Brocky, you always try to peep on me. Puppies, hot sauce, and a big ass iced tea. Yes, honey. Right. <laughs> I don't put hot sauce on catfish, but it probably ain't bad. Oh, hot sauce is good on catfish, but I usually use lemon. Right. Or pepper sauce. Uh, Bridget said, money I never saw nor touched and never ever been with Stewie. Right? Yeah. I mean, Bridget's like... Carney what's, said... Bridget's like twice... I mean, Stewie's, is, Stewie's like the age of her son. Or, I mean... I mean, I guess older women like those, them cougars, you know. Are you a cougar, um, Boston girl? Are you a cougar? Is that what you are? Carney said, any dude who wants to pretend to be a chick and send me cash, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trisha said, Carney, they don't even need to pretend with me. Just send the cash. I hear that. <laughs> I'm down for that one. <laughs> Biden should be on the $3 bill because it's all about the threes, baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Krista, honey? So when they go to your cashless society, are you going to get the chip so you can be scanned? Like, uh, what's that, Misfit Jenny? Whoop, no, I'm just going to be tortured till I die or starve till I die. Okay. So let's because see. Because it is only temporary pain here on this planet. I ain't trying to have eternal pain. Fuck all that. Does anyone remember the gong show? Well, yeah. Most of us are old enough, I would think. What about it? You just loved it? You just wanted to put that out there, Icky? Are you gonging us? <laughs> Woo! Three, three, three. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Icky, your ass is old as fuck, too. That's how you even know about the gong show to bring it up. I honestly wish just flirking well, I really do. Listen, Bridget, I don't wish anything bad on that person. What I'm saying is that person ain't no fucking victim. Stop it. Stop projecting and po po pointing your fingers at other people to deflect from the fact that what you did to Stewie was disgusting and you played a mind game and now you're trying to cry about the things that happened while you were playing a mind game with somebody. Well, hello, Misfit Jenny. How are you? Icky's getting the gong. He still has the episode where the girl just licked popsicles. <laughs> Was that an actual episode? You know that bitch. I don't know. Depending on who was in control of the gong and how heavy she was licking that popsicle, she might not have got kicked to the curb. Cactus said Mark Terry would go along with a catfish for money all day and twice on Sunday. Hell Yeah. Icky said, I love girls licking popsicles. Well, <laughs> I bet you do, Icky. That's why your name is Icky. All right. <laughs> well, I hope you get the job, uh, A-Rod. Dimples. Women nowadays. Who said, oh, Icky. <laughs> yes, it was an act. So what process. you got done? You got anything exciting and new coming up this week, Mike? Um... Not really. I got to um, meet with the vice president of an oil company tomorrow. Um, and probably the rest of the week, I'm going to do whatever I want to. 
that's what's up. That's the way to live. So Dateline said, why come back apologizing, then cause more damage the next moment? It's a, what, who is she talking about, bipolar or something? Uh, this chat moved on me. I don't know. I'm missing some of the chat. Hit the PayPal catfish. Woo! Um, I got you on the list, Carney. Uh-oh. Is it a good list or a naughty list, Trisha? There shouldn't be any crying on YouTube, but there becomes more and more people crying every day now. <laughs> right. Uh, Mark Terry's going to get the catfish fun going. He said, hit the PayPal, baby. Right. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Talk about trash bergs more. He's gross as fuck. I mean, it's so easy to drag bergs, Mark. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I can't stand his fucking ass. And I think anybody that gives him money while he's putting Jill in his mouth, you are fucking just as twisted and sick as he is. Cause fuck that making money off Jill like that. She wasn't even really liking that motherfucker that much there at the end. Trisha, I hate having to check the wait. Oh, Cutler before going to bed. <laughs> what is a spinal cord stimulator, <laughs> Stephanie? Uh <-huh. laughs> What's that? That sounds like that might feel good to you back. Comb over fun. <laughs> well, hello there, dragon lady. How are you? That's right, Jenny. You can't stay slick like a greaser without some money for that dapper Dan, honey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just get you a bottle of baby oil, uh, Mark. There he probably you. already got some. <laughs> Look, he says, woo, Terry Catfish fun. Uh, let's see what this one is. I'm a ninja Phil. You won't ever see me coming. Oh, Berg's got a new guitar. Oh, well, good for you, Berg's. A new guitar and still no fucking place to live on your own. Right. I got it. I mean, I don't know why he bought a new guitar. He never learned how to play the old one. <laughs> I mean, I mean I'm he just, can strum a few notes, but he th you'd think that, he'd have perfected it. Well, does he think that by buying a new guitar, it's going to make him play better? I think what is one of his problems in is that guitar he's playing has got six too many strings on it for him. Well, that's what's up, Sean the Brit. Is it something that sucks, or is it something that like helps him feels good? Well, isn't that the same thing? <laughs> well, something that, like... <laughs> <laughs> helps you or doesn't help you, I guess. Does it just feel good or does it actually do something else? <laughs> um, Jojo, we usually only go live once a week, but we are going to start doing a podcast upload on Wednesdays is the goal we're setting. Right. Um, so that won't necessarily be a live stream, but we'll be like covering different things, maybe mostly we'll be probably covering like some true crime cases, but we might be doing like, I will want to cover um, when Richard Allen finally goes to court from the Delphi murders. I'll we'll cover that. Okay. I think that's in well, see, June. One of the things is most of the people that come here, come here, listen to what we always talk about. So yeah, I don't know. Too, yeah, and so, uh, and most of the time we fill up our whole two hour times that we have talking about that the YouTube stuff. So, are we going to extend our stream to talk about other stuff other than what we normally talk about? Or are we going to cut what we normally talk about short to cover something different? You see what I'm saying? I just kind of like the idea of doing a private recording of our podcast and uploading it. And then I wish that you guys would call in the hotline and troll us. And that would be fun to play on our show. Now, and we can just talk about YouTube. Now what we could do is record the podcast, um, privately. And then Before we go live on Sunday. And we could do that. But when we upload it, we could upload it as a premiere. And right. that way, uh, people could, we could still chat and stuff. 
you know, in the chat. Right. You know what I'm Thank saying? Thank you, Miss Liz. I appreciate it. Yeah, either way is cool with me. I just kind of, we both talked about it. This doesn't seem like it would flow together trying to talk about something totally off, which even though we did, we kind of got into a political discussion tonight, which we normally don't do. But. Right. Well, I mean, you know. But, but you know, hey, it's a little bit. There's two subjects that you're never going to win the argument with, and that's politics and religion, because you're not going to yep. sway the other person on the other side. So y'all can argue right. about it till you're blue in the face, and neither one of you is going to see the other side's a point about it. You know what I'm saying? Mark Terry. What is Mark? <laughs> Woo! Minnie Manson porn bomb was disturbing. She spread it all three times. Woo! It's all about the three, baby. Right. <laughs> oh, God. Now I'm wondering, I got to message Rachel and see if I can see, get the link to this shit. Mark Terry's like Abe. When you read his comments, you got to read it using his voice. You know what I'm saying? Or don't right. have the same effect. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, well, yeah. So uh, you really wasn't nowhere besides over there on Nelly's, and I wasn't really nowhere besides over on... Oh, yeah, I think I did go on G Mangoes. You were on Mark's... Uh, I didn't get to catch you on G's, but you were on Mark's uh, upsetting Tina D. Well, that wasn't my intentions, but that's the way it worked <laughs> out. Um, yeah, and then I was on there uh, he after... He wants to know if Manny whipped the mac and cheese or just showed the container. <laughs> What's that? I'm bothered. <laughs> I think it was. Um, I, I. It sounds like just just showing the container. I don't think the. Trisha said the whole nine, Icky. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. <sighs> That's messed up. Wow. And then. Um... Oh, I didn't know that, Phil. Well, I hope you guys listen. I want you guys to troll that fucking phone number. That that's the one thing. I think it could be so funny. Like I hate to give him credit, but whatever, we'll do it. Like when Dicker with Dave used to call up on you and Mill show, and right. he did the um, he did the Asian delivery man. Yes, right. That was funny. It was. See, people could do some funny stuff. Troll it. If you don't troll outside of, you know, if you don't act like a racist or, you know, something stupid, then we'll play it. Some of you are really good at impersonating voices. Hey, call us up and ask I mean, a question. Call us out. Some of them are you really good at impersonating a whole person. You know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like just lurking. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, yeah. you ever find it funny that there's a lot of people that are they they are more natural when they are um, not being themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. You want? I don't understand that. I can't do that. I can't. I can't put on something a fake face and do it for very long because because not no not for very long. I can pretend. I can put my what I call my customer service on, voice on. But I have to be like, it's not going to be something I could do every day, all the time, be a whole character on the internet kind of a thing. It's like if I had to go to work when I used to work, uh, you know, for the concrete company in the office. And so I had to, you know, talk to everyone in my customer service voice. And I could do that while I was at work. And then that's about it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I'll be good. I'm going to get that good Versed drip. Get all that knockout medicine. I'll be gone in a coma all day on Tuesday sleeping. So I'm sure you guys will all show the fuck out and really do it up and do the most on Tuesday because that's how it goes. Right. <laughs> Is that what happened last um, week? Was that on Tuesday when all that? Yes, oh. the week I had my surgery last time is when they blew up enough drama in every community for two weeks. Is that when stitches went unhinged? Yeah, yeah I guess it is. It. <laughs> even you, even you left while I was trying to. I cannot pretend the husband left three tablespoons of cereal in the box. I wrote a whole note and left the cereal in the bowl. That and leaving like a teaspoon of milk. What's the point of that? Well, that way they you can't say they used it all. 
It's the stupidest definition. I didn't use it all. Yeah, you did because you didn't leave enough for another fucking purpose. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> they left it for you to throw away. You can't even make mashed potatoes with that little bit. Bridget is. What are you? Oh, okay. They're talking about the Ipsy stuff. Never mind. Well, let's see what you guys. You guys want to talk about anything else? We'll be wrapping it up here pretty soon. I don't think I have anything else to say. But, I mean, I'll hang out. Hey, Les, tell Peggle I said hello and hope he's doing well. Well, hello, Miss Les. How are you? Uh, what are y'all having for dinner? Might be, you know. Uh, I have no idea. I got you. I got you, Nick. I'm I got making, you. Nick says I'm this. making homemade cast iron skillet cornbread. Nick mm -hmm. says stitches. Mm -hmm. Please control yourself this time. I got you, <laughs> Nick. I got you. I I lost it, Nix. I'm, you know, it's all Nix's it fault. Like it's all Nix's fault. She don't, you know, she don't, she don't DM me and talk to me anymore. So, um, oh, you've been put on the back burner, I, right? Exactly. It's like stitches. Who? I think I remember that name from somewhere. Wait a minute, Tara. What do you think of Miss Fucking Wonderful's new man? Okay, Cindy, what new man? Because the only thing I was current on her with. Was Dougie having a um, stroke? She got. I knew she had brought that one younger dude home that was breaking up with his girl from the bar. Is that who you're talking about, Cindy? I want to talk about Miss Bell sitting in his balls and needing her. What? Ooh. What? Where are you seeing Mr. all this at? Mr. Belvedere sitting on his balls and then needing surgery. I, what's what's up, negotiator? How's it going, honey? I'm sorry. Meow, meow. Here's some super glue. Don't be brokenhearted. He was a big guy, and that was an inevitable. All right, listen, wait. All right, I want to go back to what Cindy was talking about. I'm sure, hopefully, she's typing. It, who's? I haven't seen any new man for Katie, but she ain't going to hold on to one very long. What happened to that bitch getting her fucking skin removed? I thought she was, like, doing stuff to get... Healthy. He looks like Mr. Clean. They call him Orange. Oh my God. That bitch done landed a sugar daddy. See, the see, whole world's going to hell in a handbag now. See, you see in the chat, Nick's called me a jackass. She said, I went from a goat to a jackass. Oh, that's fucked up, Nick. You wrong. You know you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like one of those babies that get the disease from mosquitoes. What? Oh my God! I've been miss 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 fucking wonderful's boyfriend be looking like Olaf from the Oh my! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody hit my Twitter up with a screenshot. I gotta see this shit, honey. I missed it. Look, Carney well, said. Carney, save... Carney said I'd hit it. <laughs> of course you would, Carney. Fuck Mary Kill Carney, Maria, Miss Fucking Wonderful, and uh, Lolly, but not the fake Lolly, the real Donna. We'll give time. We'll give Carney time to ponder over that one. I have so many unanswered questions. They're worth. Oh wait, this popped up. Hold on. They're all worth one K to know them all by the end of the game. Okay, Yankee. Monchichi says sugar <laughs> grandpa, you mean. Not a sugar daddy, a sugar grandpa. Oh, okay. She's going to find somebody to pay for that surgery for her. That's what she's going to do. What surgery they is that? They need to fix the flat her fucking face with about 15 cans of fucking fix the flat in the crevices. She worried about the wrong thing. They'll be using some Bondo on that, <laughs> won't they? Yeah, I can't stand her, man. And it's not because I'm friends with Savage. It's not because of that. Like, I watched her, and I see why people don't like her. She's awful. Okay, Carney said, kill Lolly, fuck Miss Wonderful, and marry Maria because she cooks. Well, listen, Katie cooks, too. She just adds a cat hair to every ingredient and dish that she makes. What's wrong with that? <laughs> mm. Katie just cooks without washing her hands after scratching her butthole. Who cares? Extra flavor, little cinnamon, little e, e little e. Coli never killed nobody. <laughs> MJ says sugar daddies were great candy. They are pretty good. 
I like sugar babies though. Sugar daddies are too much work. <laughs> they are like a blowjob that just won't give. Sugar daddies makes your jaw tired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> I've only had one glass of wine, y'all, so I don't know what's wrong with me to say such things. <laughs> what's up, Pagel? What's up, Pagel? Oh, Miss Fucking Wonderful is a better cook than Maria. You think so, Nix? I don't know. Maria be making up that, she be making up that uh, trailer park special balling on a budget mac and cheese with weenies in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know I if, I'm a, years ago, look, if I'm look if I'm if I'm gonna marry somebody because they're cooking on here, I'm gonna have to go and and marry Angelo. You know, I'm just yeah, saying. Angelo be doing it up. I do pretty good. I just don't. I don't post it anymore. Lisa does good. Lisa can cook. I can fucking cook. Angelo can cook. Yeah. Jeff says he don't have Twitter. Brock Brock can do it up all fancy pants. Let me look at my Twitter real quick. Hold on. Oh, I don't, I don't, I can't Jen Jen because if I, I'm under StreamYard and I went through Twitter and if I, I'll check it when we get done. I know she's probably sending me a picture of that shit of the new man and I want to see it and I want to put it up on the screen. Send it to Stitches. So you Jen say, Jen. you say you're, um, you're here for it. Is that what you're saying? I'm so, I want to see how you guys, you can cook two dimples. What's your favorite thing to make? Tonight I'm making Southern cornbread, honey. Slap your mom in the floor. It's good as fuck. Well, I'm already married, Dimples. I'm sorry. My enchiladas <laughs> are pretty bomb, you know. Yeah, I keep hearing that. I can cook, but the next husband better be able to door dash daily. Yeah. Hey, look. There you go, A-Rod. I would do, do it up, A-Rod. Listen. I was always impressed by Troy. Now, Troy was a whole fucking bipolar, drunken banshee of a mess. But that motherfucker would go in there and cook up a whole Huddle House five-star breakfast for a motherfucker. I never in my life seen anybody grill, outside grill a frozen pizza to perfection. <laughs> I was like, Troy can cook his ass off. All right, Jin Jin, put it in your DM stitches. Troy okay. can do it up. Damn Any of y'all that remember uh, Black Metal Troy, I would hook you up, uh, Mojo. I cook all kinds of good stuff. I make a fire-ass fucking chicken pot pie. I make a good roast. Right, well, so I would have to sit down and send it to you. It's really simple. The most, the key to the cornbread being so good is a a lot of butter, but b a cast iron skillet and getting it real hot and then putting it on the stove and heating up butter and then pouring your batter after you've let it let it sit. And if you want the, I'll off of I'll give it to you in a DM like the concoctions that I put together. It's real simple, but it's good as fuck. Okay, you got it. We 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 got it. Let's it see. It looks like the last one to me. But okay. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. And then my shit'll lag, All so right. I have to wait. There you go. Here, let me go over here on this YouTube and look. I'm on mute for a second. Gonna mute for a second. Okay. Where the hell'd she go? Oh, she went to go look at the thing, didn't she? So you ain't no telling with her. Be liable to be gone. All right, so what y'all think? <laughs> that is Shrek. The fuck? And they make a perfect couple because she's a fucking female Shrek. Well, That's let's, okay. Fucking well, well, let's see if you can, let's see if it works for you. Oh my God, that is hysterical, Ginger. Right. <laughs> you ain't writing it. All right, watch watch the screen now. You see him okay. right here, right yeah. there. See him. Yeah. Okay. Wait Hold for. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> 
What's up, Jessica, Jennifer, honey? Oh, I'll catch it. Let me see what you got over here. I think I can check my text, Bridget. All right, there you go. See. You see the screen there? There you go. That's yes, it. I right. do. All right on. Oh, look at this one that Bridget sent me. Hold on. Let me save it. And where did she meet this new boat? She gone. She gone. Okay. Well, let's, okay. I don't know where she went, but she gone. She fell through the through the cracks of the the stream yard uh, algorithm or something. I don't know what happened to her. Right? Exactly, Jessica. Exactly. Okay. I don't understand how why it takes her so long to come back. All you, know, you do is click the same thing you clicked to get here. Who is he dating and who is he? I guess that's uh, MFW's new boyfriend there, Mojo. Uh, exactly. That's right. Uh, bloop. She back. Yeah, she definitely got a type. She got Desperation. All, look, Tara got so excited over that picture, she kicked herself out of stream. No, y I was sending Brock. I kicked me because I went into my messages. I was sending Brock that picture so she could send it to you of Katie with her man doing a selfie. They met at a bar. She went home with him and ended up in his bathtub. I knew she was a take it home and poke it kind of a hoe. <laughs> I knew it. Yuck. Okay, maybe she doesn't realize she's gone for a while. Well, well, she might not, Nix. No, I did. I was, I knew it, but I was like, no, oh, what's she, that blue she kicks, her, she kicks herself off, and then she, like, goes and does all, well, since I'm off already, let me go do all this other stuff. You and know, then I'll be right back. Do the laundry. It's good to see you, and, Blue. Orange Rise, I know you had left for a while, and you didn't need to leave. That wasn't worth leaving over. Right? What's going on, Blue Knievel? Let's see. He did a body shot off Miss Fucking Wonderful the first night. Let oh, that sink Lord in. Have well, at least the alcohol. Oh, Kiki Kim. She said, I see another one for my hook. <laughs> Lord Hammer. Oh, yeah, you got to wonder, Jessica Jennifer, if he sprayed it down with the um, hydro infused with bleach bubble washing spray, whatever it's called. Well, I mean, he put alcohol Ugh. on it first, so that means he, you know, he sterilized it. Ugh. Is the toads, toadstool wealthy? I have no idea. She, He better hope so. Yes, Jessica Jennifer. He had a stroke, and his mom was worried about him and trying to get Katie to go over there and check on him, and she wouldn't fucking do it. And then his mom ended up calling the cops to come do a wellness check. And when they got there, the poor soul was on his floor, had a stroke, and been laying there in, in his urine for 12 hours. And Katie, the fucking trash can that she is, has turned that into content and aggravated him about why she won't come visit him still because his mom's a bitch over there. Blah, 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 blah. And she's the, she's the worst, man. She's the worst. Right. I don't Listen, know. She's so fucking disgusting and toxic and poison on the inside that that's what's bubbling up out of her face. Okay. The toxicity, huh? Her evil is protruding from her pores. Exactly, Les. That's all she fucking cares about. Herself in her pocket. And she thinks she's cute, and she looks like a rejected Pamela Anderson wearing a fucking fat girl suit that's been deflated. Right. <laughs> Fuck right. her. Anyway. Katie is about herself, and that's it. Always will be. That's right. MMFW's been a mess since she left Corn Row Mafia. I Even hope. before yeah. then, Connie. Even before then. Well... Somebody must like it. 
They go watch her. They waiting for the they waiting for the shit show, ain't they? Yeah, we about to end this show because I got to go cook my cornbread, honey. And Magna, don't let me forget, and I'll give you my little recipes. What are you having with this cornbread? Do what? What are you having with this cornbread? I'm gonna. I, I'm trying to decide how I've got chicken laid out. I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna make the chicken, and I got some Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna cut them down and roast them in the oven while I'm cooking the cornbread. You know what my favorite thing to have with it's cornbread? Like John Brussels sprouts. You know my my fa favorite thing to have with cornbread is black eyed peas and ham and in onion. it with ham and onions. Yes. I like hun uh, onion. And my second favorite thing to have cornbread with is my beef tip vegetable soup. Oh we. Mm -mm -mm. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to make a big old pot of homemade chicken noodle soup so that when I come home from surgery on Tuesday, because last uh, two weeks ago when I had surgery, you know, they don't let you eat. They make you fast. And so then I was there half the day, and all I kept thinking about, I got so hungry. Um, I got past hunger into sickness. I know, you, well, I know you know how that goes, right? And all I kept doing was sitting there thinking uh -huh. about, all the things I was going to eat. And I had made a big pot of vegetable soup to come home and eat. And when you come out of surgery, really the only thing you can eat is about some chicken noodle. You, that anesthesia tricks you. When you wake up, you can't eat like you thought you could. So I'm going to make a big old pot of homemade chicken noodle soup. I'm making crab. Mmm. Yes, Savannah. You know what I like? I ain't got many skills, but running my mouth and cooking, I can do. What's you know, that like? um... What would be good? I need to get some of your beef tip soup over a bed of rice. Oh, yeah. Over a bed of oh, rice. Oh, yeah. Or mashed yummy. potatoes. Yeah, but I like rice for that. With I make that. a no peak beef. There's a recipe all over YouTube called No Peak Beef Tips. And that I found and discovered that's the best way to make your beef tips and then make some homemade mashed potatoes and pour that over it. That shit's pretty good. You know, I like yeah, hamburger. I, could, I, I could like um, I like hamburger steaks and onions with mushroom gravy on my mashed potatoes. Yeah, we have that once a month with mashed potatoes. We have we do we usually do meatloaf at least every six weeks. Um, I do my enchiladas. Like I have my staple things that I make, and we kind of rotate. You know, right, every six right. weeks. I love making chicken and dumplings, and I love making you know pastas. I love spaghetti. I make my sauce all day long. We have spaghetti at least once a week. Yeah, I, I eat too much of it. It's crazy. I make my I eat like a fucking fat man on that spaghetti. And That's why you, I can't make and, it. And you can't use that Parmesan cheese in a can. I like fresh grated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's the kind I get. But 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 Knievel, how many orange? How many strikes do you have though? Thank you, babe. It says three copyright strikes for getting banned, so he didn't want to get banned. So what you do? So here's my advice to you. It worked for Dateline, and here's my advice: you load up a video, you go and make yourself a new channel, okay? And you just name it Blue Knievel 2.0 or something different, whatever you want to do. And you go on your original channel and you make a, a video telling everybody, get, put the link in the description, all that stuff, and tell everybody to go sub you up that you're moving over to a new channel to keep from getting strikes. And then people, because you're a clip channel and people will see that, right? they'll come over and start subbing you up because clip, pe people want to be sub to the clip channels. We'll promote you when you make a new channel. Let me know. I'll share you out. And then just start over on a new channel. You can have as many channels as you want as long as you've not been banned. It right. worked well for date long. Exactly. Just and make a new that, channel. And that way they, they you don't have them strikes on your new channel. Everybody's going to come right. that watched you before. And yep. then you just don't use the other channel. It'll never get that third strike. So you'll never get banned. Right. But you'll still have your, all your, um, content. Exactly. Yeah. I'd make a new channel, Orange Rise. Don't let them keep a good troll down, honey. You've been here since I've been here. Right. Yeah. 
I'm I'm subbed up to all 35 Stewie's channels too, Carney. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, Blue, you still got your channel. I'm sick of people striking you. Yeah. Magnus says all that right, POS. Mike, well, I guess Magnus says ahead, that POS so Lolly is the one who is striking here. Heron Rich Life. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, Nelly, you make sure you keep your stream up so we can listen to it. Jake, I'm I'm glad that you enjoyed playing our stream. I hope that we provided some content for you over there. But other than that, Mike, I think we can call it a night. Yeah, we've been go we, we've dinner. been here our two hours, so two hours is two is plenty enough time for a replay. That's what I say. Exactly. Plus, that's plenty enough time listening to me fucking cackle. Right. <laughs> Now that's not. But listen, true. thank all you guys for all the wonderful vibes and prayers. I'll take them. That's why I'm sharing my journey with you because I will take all the good energy I can get. Uh, Mr. T said he's about to go live after we end the stream, so there's a good place for you guys to go hang out, and still chat, if you're wanting to continue to be a bummers for the day. I assume Steve Billings doing his asylum tonight at seven. Yes. Which is always a good shit show, so right. please go over there. But other than that, I think I've cathied my throat out and appreciate all you guys coming in and entertaining us as much as we hope we entertained you. Except for me going on my rant about Natalie. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm really not that sorry, honestly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going with but it. But other than that, I want you guys to have a great week. Hey, look, now I was just going with it. That's how you stay married a long time. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And not telling <laughs> us to calm down. I don't know what? when you and Tom said are going to have learned. Yeah, before the, stream, well, look, before the stream, I, we, she was in the thing, and I told her to calm down. I thought she was going to lose her mind then. You're not supposed to tell a woman to calm down. I wasn't even hyped. Don't get too tired and take care. Yeah, it does make me tired. That's the one thing I discovered. This The surgery, it's not so much that I'm not tough enough to heal from the pain. It just kind of makes everything wear me out. Right. You just get run down mm -hmm. easy. Yeah. Well, hopefully this, but like, this I love next you one. Guys, and I thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate you, all you peoples. All right. Yep. Everybody, I appreciate you coming here. And Tara, what do you usually say? Y'all, please show out this week because y'all didn't do good enough this past week. Y'all right. slacked. Right. I need, so we, we need, need y'all to show the fuck out so we can show the fuck out up and right. talk about it. We need the content, <laughs> y'all. We need thirsty. We're yeah. thirsty over here, okay? And also, I want to remind you guys to keep an eye out, hit that subscribe button, share us out because we should have a podcast uh, loaded well, up for you guys on Wednesday. Well, I mean, you're are you going to? We'll, well, tomorrow, I mean, if right? you're going to, yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. That way, because that you we can't do it Tuesday. So if we're going to have it up right. by Wednesday, we'll we're going. Yeah, we'll get it together tomorrow, and we'll. Yeah. And then Wednesday we can premiere it, and if you feel like you can come in the chat and talk. Yeah, maybe. that'll be good because then if I don't feel like it, you you can hold it down and I can sleep. Exactly. I don't know how I'll feel, but I was pretty tough this last time, so I think it'd be a. Yeah, you did a one, wonderful job. They, they give me the good hydrocodone, honey. Oh, okay. And I got some, I got some good nausea medicine in there. Yeah, yeah so they you, give me the good. Yeah, but you don't even take that like you like. I mean, because you you only a few days, you're like, I got, I got. Yeah, cause, yeah, because I can't stay fucked up all the time. That's my wife. She's like, I just I took can't. it for about four days. I think maybe five days. I took it five days. Yeah. Yeah, that's my wife. She <laughs> she has, she has pain medicine for her back because she has back issues where she got run over by a forklift. And um, oh, wow. okay, fucking hey. But she don't like taking them because of that reason. Yeah, it makes me sick. So, so like people that take pills because they can catch a buzz off of it. If I start taking it to a point to try to get a buzz, I will puke even with the pukey meds. I, I can't. I. Nobody ever had to worry about me getting strung out on pills. I yeah, can't so, do Yeah, me. my wife, um, she said she couldn't, she wasn't taking his, his uh, pain pills because it made her feel like a zombie, but she figured out that walking help, actually helps her back. You know what I'm saying? If she walks regularly. Yeah. So we got her a yeah. treadmill and she ain't had a pain pill since. So. Yeah, fuck a bunch of pain pills. They kill your pancreas. 
right. and fuck up your liver. Okay. But I'm gonna be just fine. And after I get this surgery, then I got no. I don't have to do any chemo, so that's amazing news. And then I have to do 33 treatments of radiation, and then I gotta take this disgusting pill. The pill I have to take for five years has me more concerned than anything. So. Well, we'll cross that bridge well, you when know, you get to. I'll be fine. Oh, listen, I'm gonna be fine as hell because you know why? Because I'm mean and I ain't going nowhere. I'm only going to mean away from this world. Huh? Right. <laughs> well, and you remember that Nelly, you smelly little dumbass motherfucker. Oh lord. All right, y'all have a good uh, <laughs> afternoon because we're gonna start that again. It'll be another hour yep. over here. Bye, y'all. Bye. All right. All right, I'm going to go. My